So anyone who is looking to cut down on a trip to the grocery store, like many of our seniors, will want a really good freezer. Retailers say they're having trouble keeping them in stock. Nine News senior source reporter Mark Kobrick says if you need one, you need to get on a waiting list. And, and Mark, you know, the reason you get these freezers is, of course, to maintain social distancing, avoid these trips, and getting too close to folks. You're absolutely right. A freezer can cut your trips to the grocery store. Also, you can stock up on all kinds of sale items, which helps you meal plan further out and makes fewer trips to the grocery. And freezers also extend the life of a lot of staples that might surprise you. And I'll show you more of that list in just a moment. But first of all, this is another pandemic related story because manufacturers say they are finding it impossible to keep up with the demand for these little freezers. And we're talking about those little chest freezers. You know, they're about seven cubic feet inside, very affordable, about 230 to $250. And they last for years with very little care. They run on about $30 worth of electricity a year, and they can hold a mountain of food, as you can see. And that's why they have become the darling of the pandemic for those households looking to store a lot of those instant frozen meals and other bargains that allow them to make fewer trips to the grocery. But our expert, Professor Don Thilmany at CSU Regional economic development office says that the problem here is that we're not going to see a lot of them in stores anytime soon because all the raw materials for these freezers the raw materials that make them come from china what we didn't realize is like how many of our sectors have become really dependent on china providing part of their um, supply chain and so and that was pre-covid that was because of choices we made in our trade negotiations which is a whole other topic but yeah so that's Part of the reason I said you can't see a very quick response in these manufacturers of appliances, and it's not all due to COVID, it's because of a whole lot of things. So that's why I don't see a, a ton more freezers coming online really fast. And it's amazing what you freeze. Do you know you can freeze wine? I had no idea. You can freeze peanut butter and mustard. Although, why would you? Those are things that disappear very quickly. But if you're buying them on sale, you can freeze nuts of most any description. You can freeze flour, I found. You can freeze bananas, but you have to peel them first and put them in a separate bag. With eggs, you can freeze eggs as well, but first you have to crack them all and put them in a different container. And Kim, the same is true of, of milk. You have to pour your milk in a bag, save the container, but you can freeze milk as well. Who knew? I, I I had no idea, Mark. And now I I would say, why would you ever freeze wine? Um, but <laughs> but um, that's like you know that all those things. I mean, a lot of folks are doing that. Personally, I think a frozen banana tastes better than a real thing. I'm I'm totally with you on that. But so like, let's say you are fortunate, you do have an old freezer, and then it quits on you. Can those be repaired for fairly easy? You know what? That was one of my first questions because I have one of those, but. You know, the repair shops, they just don't carry the parts anymore. They're essentially disposable electronics. They're one of those things that are so cheap when you buy them, it really doesn't pay you to repair them. The repair bill would probably be more than the new product. So the answer is generally, no, you can't repair them. You just have to bite the bullet and go get a new one. Well, get on the list then. I had to yeah, know. Yeah, that's what I did. If you can freeze all those things. Eggs? You're kidding me. Good no, you got to crack them first. I had no idea what you do is you crack them and you put them in like a Tupperware container, like four and five at a time, and then you thaw them as you eat them. I had no idea. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. Now you know. I know. Well, you could freeze the ice cubes and then put them in your other wine, and then they would. Yeah, okay. I've got uh, whatever. You've got me stuck plan. on the wine. Thank you, Mark. <laughs>